Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to make something fun and something more experimental, something you cannot wear out that much, but if you want, you totally free. And I am inspired, kind of inspired by this, this picture of Rosie. She has very high blush, so much blush, but it looks nice. And that's the look that I wanted to make for quite a long time, that very blushy, lifted, lifted look. And I have all my blushes in front of me, all shades, tones, and I will mix them and try to, to make something. Also, I'm inspired by Lisa Eldridge watercolor technique for for blush. She uses beautiful technique by layering the blushes on her cheeks and a little bit on, like in that C shape. So if you want to see, just keep on watching. I prep my skin with Willida Skin Food. So just put a uh, concealer foundation all over your your face. And I'm using two brushes. This one for applying my my foundation and this for blending. And I, I'm always amazed how blush can make better contour than contour powder product cream. Never mind what, because that really lifts your face in most beautiful and mesmerizing way. Because contour powder makes your face thin and blush lifts up your whole your face and I like like that blush look rather than contour but I will use I think that I will use a bit of contour powder because I think that I need some contrast between that depth and lifted look and as you can see, I'm putting more foundation here on my cheeks because as I said, I really want that even out base. I think that this time I'm putting most foundation ever on my, on my channel. So now I changed something on camera because I realized that I look blue I look very cool toned and I don't know why and my skin is naturally warm toned so I changed something in in settings and my face is still radiant because I applied a, quite a amount of that well the skin food and very pressed into into my skin So I figured it out and I saw that on Lisa Eldridge video when you do this kind of blush where you use multiple blushes and colors and textures you have to start with very light color as your base and then layer in smaller areas where you, like this red for example very bright and strong strong colors so I'm starting with very light light thing almost invisible on my face for that wash and I'm creating that C shape something like this so from my apple to here because my bone is here so you really have to have to stand in front of natural light or just have studio lights but in my opinion natural light is is always better because you know how you will look in daylight when you enter out of your house and studio lights can wash color 
out. So use very light hand and don't do this. Just like small movements. And don't move your skin. Be gentle. And I know that this is Duo Fiber Brush. This is meant to be for for creams, liquids, but I like it for for powder. So spend some extra time on this base color because this defines pretty much everything. And now when I when I'm done with that very bright pink color, now I want to use something more earthy toned and I'm using this one from from NAS. I found this palette pretty versatile wonderful and when you're on travel you can use this for your eyes and for your you even have this highlighter shade for your eyes for your face it's it's just wonderful wonderful palette and it's not crazy pigmented which i like about this one i don't like when blushes are very pigmented and i have to be very very i have to think how to put blush. I just like to dust it, just light dust, not pigment. Eyeshadow should be pigmented, not all, but should be, but blushes should not be that crazy pigmented because I don't want pigment, I want just nice dust touch of, of color. So now this shade I'm placing here on um, also my where I put highlighter but here I'm placing that that color very high and also when you are mixing blushes you can't expect that this shade will be same on the face because under I have this shade of blush, this rosy and I cannot expect that this will perform the same as in pan. So you have to almost see mixed colors in your in your head. And now with that color I'm connecting connecting brow bone and lid space with my with my cheek that's that C shape for that very red blush I'm using small brush actually face uh, sorry uh, eye, eye brush this one is from MAC 224 because I want very strong precise, precise placement of this very red vibrant color I'm making small circles be very careful with this kind of colors on the apples of my cheeks I will use this very also very nice rosy color but which brush this one from the real techniques Oh, this looks so wonderful. I'm so happy how this turned out. 
It's very theatrical and wonderful. And I will not use any contour. I like it how this looks only with with blush. And when I'm looking at this, I want slightly more red close to my eye. I think that I'm done with blush. I don't want more. It's how it has to be. And I will put some mascara and my brows. And now white eye pencil in my waterline for that nice contrast. I'm cleaning, I'm taking foundation on my lips. And I will not use nothing on my lips, just my lip balm. Because my lips has some natural uh, color, very st actually strong color, and I want to leave them just like this. my friends this is the finished result i have to play a song <laughs> this is the finished result something that it's not for every day not to go out but you can why not you can if you are brave that much and yes if you like this video please like like subscribe on my channel if you want to see more comment me what do you want to see next do you like this video or maybe you do not like and yeah see you in the next one bye